first graders, it's good to see you on our very first first grade digital music class. Help me sing hello to all of our first grade friends by singing hello first grade. Hello first grade. Hello first grade. Hello first grade and welcome to music today. And you know while we're at it, why don't we sing hello to all of our friends near and far? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, and welcome to music today. And since we're stuck at home, how about we sing hello to our families? Hello families. Could you all sing hello to Mr. Houchin for me? Hello, Mr. Houchin. Hello, Mr. Houchin. Hello, Mr. Houchin, and welcome to music today. And one more time, hello everyone. It's so good to see you. Welcome to another exciting digital music class, and the first one just for my first graders. Uh, I have a lot of fun things in store for you today that kind of go back to what we were doing in music before all this happened. And so let's take a look at our schedule for today. So we just sang hello. We're going to take a little bit of a time to warm up our bodies, warm up our singing, warm up our breath. Then I want to review our first two pitches that we've learned this year, So and Me. And we're going to review those with another song that we learned earlier this year, Engine Engine Number 9. After that, we're going to take a look at the song Akabaka. And then we're going to finish with a, a poem called Bumblebee. We'll do a little bit of our Musician of the Month. And then, of course, we'll sing Goodbye. Now, I have three main goals for you today. First main goal is for us to remember how So and Me work. And then with our song Akabaka, we're not only going to find a high sound and a low sound, but we're also going to find a middle sound. So we're going to find low, middle, and high pitches in a song. And then we're going to use our poem Bumblebee to review Taz and Titi's. But let's go back to the first thing we need to do, and that's sort of warm up. And I want to start warming up with just our breath. So we've been doing this a lot in these digital music classes. I think it's important to sort of get ourselves in the right mental space to do this. So we're going to do some breathing, some slow breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. So I want you to breathe in for four counts through your nose, out for four counts through your mouth. Ready? Breathe in. And out. And in. Out. Two more times. In. Out. Last time. In. And out. Take a deep breath and give me a nice big hearty sigh like this. Oh. Try it. Ah, really nice, really nice. <clears throat> Let's warm up our singing voices a little bit. We might not have been using them lately, so it's good for us to warm them up. Can you make your voice nice and high and fall off your voice from high to low like this? Ah! Your turn. Ah! All right, what if we went even higher? It sounds like this. Ah! Your turn. Ah! Now I want you to take your lips and I want you to blow through your lips like this. All right. And do it one more time. Now can you sing while you do that? It sounds like this. You try. 
It's kind of fun. If you can't do that, keep trying. It really makes sure that our breath is connected with our singing so that we're really singing well. All right. And let's just do a little bit of stretching to sort of warm up our bodies. And so we can take our right arm across our front and we can kind of hold it with our left arm and just kind of pull it gently into our bodies like this, sort of stretch our arms out. And while you do this, take a deep breath in. Okay. Now switch it up, put your left arm across your body, hold it with your right arm, and as you're doing this, take a deep breath in. Nice job. Take your head and take your left ear and touch it to your left shoulder gently. And on the right side of your neck, you should feel a nice gentle stretch. Take a deep breath here. And do that over to the other side, right ear to the right shoulder. Feeling that gentle stretch on the left side of our neck. Deep breath in. And then finally, take your chin and touch it down to your chest. And feel that stretch in the back of your neck. And back up front. Nice job. We should be feeling pretty warmed up now. All right, can you repeat after me? <coughs> I could say hi. I could say low. Hi, hi, hi. Low, low, low. Hi has a name. Its name is so. So looks like this. So, so, so. Lo has a name, its name is me. Me looks like this, me, me, me. So, so, me, me, me. So, so, me, me, me. So, me, so, so, me. Me, me, so, so, so. Me, so, me, me, me. <clears throat> so, so, me, me, so, so, so. So, so, me, me, so, so, so. So, so, baby, so, so, so. So, 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 so. Nice job, nice job. Thank you for singing along with me. Well, this reminds me of a song we did way back when that goes like this. Engine, engine, number nine. Going down the railway line If the train goes off the track Will I get my money back? Hmm. Worried about riding on a train that might go off the tracks? Hmm. We must be on the red line. That's a joke for the parents. Sing it with me if you remember it. Nice job. Let's go over to the board and play around a little bit with our engine, engine number nine song. Ha! So I'm down here now. Can you see me? All right. And if you look up on the board, I have some trains and I have so and me. And I'm looking at the trains right now and I notice that some trains are up on the so part of the board and some trains are down on the me part of the board. So if I were to sing the pattern that I see on the board, I would sing it like this. So, me, so, me. I read from left to right like I'm reading a book. But I go up and down between the so and me. All right. So let's get our hand signs out. You can show me so up like this and me like this. And can we sing this pattern together? <coughs> Ready? So, me, so, me. Nice job. 
I am going to change our pattern around. While I change it, can you sing our song, Engine Engine Number 9? Engine, engine number nine, going down the railroad line. If the train goes off the track, will I get my money back? Take a look at it. Notice that some of the trains have moved. They've changed stations. How would we sing this new pattern? Hmm. I see my first train starts on a so. It's up high. The second train is also up high on so. The third train down on me and the fourth train on me. So we would sing this like this. So, so, me, me. Sing that with me. Ready, here we go. Did you do the hand signs too? I knew you did. Good for you. Let's do another pattern. Engine number nine, going down the railway line. If the train goes off the track, will I get my money back? Hmm. Notice this one doesn't start on so. It starts down on me, so it's going to start lower. Can we start on me, please? Ready? Here we sing. Me, so, me, so. Job. One more time with me. Ready? Mi, so, mi, so. Very good. Let's do one more pattern all together. Engine, engine number nine, going down the railway line. If the train goes off the track, will I get my money back? All right, take a look here. Think it in your brain. I wonder if you could even sing it in your brain first. It starts on so. Let's try it together. Ready? So, so, me, me. Nice. One more time. Ready? So, so, me, me. Wait a minute. You said I didn't sing it correctly? You said I made a mistake? Wait a minute. I sang so, so, me, me. But you're saying that's not what's written on the board? Take a look at it. I see it now. My mistake. Let me try one more time. Tell me if I get it right this time. So, so, so me. How about that? I did it. Let's sing it all together. Ready? So, so, so me. Really good job, really good job. Can we say goodbye to our trains? Goodbye, trains! And this is going to lead us into another song that we've already started working on this year, and that is... Hack a back a soda cracker, hack a back a boo. Hack a back a soda cracker, out goes you. Hack a back a soda cracker, hack a back a boo. Hack a back a soda cracker, out goes you. Nice job. I love this song. It's a fun game to play when we're back all together. But for now, how about we sing it while we keep the beat on our shoulders, nice and fast, like this. Hack a back a soda cracker, hack a back a boo. Hack a back a soda cracker, out goes you. Hack a back a soda cracker, hack a back a boo. Hack a back a soda cracker, out goes you. Nice job, nice job. Let's take a look at this one up on the board. Ha, we're back here again. So, I want to take a look at the first part of this song. Now, in the last song, Engine, Engine, we talked a lot about so and me, which is high and low. But in this song, we're going to have high, we're going to have low, and we're going to have something else. Watch what happens when I move the words around to match my voice. Aka, backa. Uh-oh. Excuse me just a second. There we go. Backa, soda, cracker. Notice, they're not all the same. We've got aka and soda, which are kind of in the middle. And then we have backa, which is up high, and cracker, which is actually down kind of low. So 
How about this? Would you point to the words as we sing them together? And notice how they go from the middle, high, middle, low. Ready? Back a back a soda cracker. Nice. Maybe with your finger you could sort of trace the shape that you see up here as we do it. Ready? Back a back a soda cracker. Nice job. How about this one? This will be fun. When you sing Akka, I want you to stand up normally. So you might have to get off the floor or get out of your chair. When you sing Baka, since it's high, would you stand up nice and tall? Maybe even do a little jump in the air? And when you sing Cracker, since it's low, you'll have to go down to squatting real low like that. So you're going to make your body middle, high, and low. Let's try it. Are you ready? Here we go. Akka, Baka. A soda cracker. Nice job, nice job. Last thing I want you to do with me, will you sing this as middle, high, middle, and low? It'll sound like this. <clears throat> middle, high, middle, low, ready and I hear you sing. Middle, high, middle, low. Nice job, nice job. Now, I'm going to change something really quick. Maybe you can help me sing how we would do this new version. So I'm going to take away soda and cracker, and I'm going to add the word boo. Now, notice, where is boo? Is it up high? Is it in the middle? Or is it down low? And if you were to sing this using middle, high, middle, and low, how would you sing this? Try it on your own. I'm listening. Pretty good. Check this out. <clears throat> middle, high, middle. Just like that. Easy as one, two, three. Sing it with me like that one more time. Middle, high, middle. Good for you. That's all I want to do with Hackabacka today. If you want to leave that one in your brain for next time, good. And then we'll learn some, we'll do, play some more around. We'll play around some more with it and learn some new things. But now I want to transition to a new song. We might have done this in class before, or you might know it from somewhere else. Or if you've been watching the digital music classes already, we've done this one together. And it's a poem that goes like this. Bumblebee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Keep the bee however you think. I'm keeping the beat on my ukulele, but you can keep it on your shoulders, on your head, on your nose, on your legs, or a drum if you've got one. Bumblebee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare you are Nice job. It's a fun little poem. And I like to do this one because it helps us review our rhythms. Our rhythms. So this should look a little familiar to you. I've got some heartbeats up here. And we're going to create some rhythms with the words bumble and bee. And right now you should already be thinking, hmm, bumble. How many sounds does that make? Bee. How many sounds does that make? What rhythms do I know that also make those sounds? All right. So as, I, as we say the poem, I'm going to put a pattern for us to read. So can you say the poem with me? Ready, go. Bumblebee, bumblebee, stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Nice job. Now if I look up here, my bee can visit all these little heartbeats in a row. And what I want you to do is I want you to say each heartbeat together. All right? So let's try it. Bumble, 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 bee. Just like that. Would you say it one more time all in a row? Ready, go. Bumble, 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 bee. Now take your hands out and clap what you say. Ready, clap. Bumble, bumble. Bumble B. Now let's think about what rhythms we might want to use here. What rhythms? If I see the word bumble, 
Am I thinking that makes one sound or two sounds? Bumble. Bumble. Well, when I clap it, I clap my hands twice. So that's going to be two sounds. And we know in first grade that a sound that makes, or that a rhythm that makes two sounds per beat is a TT. So I'm going to put the TT up above the bumble. And next, let's see, the next beat also has the word bumble. So I think I'm going to put another TT. Just like that. Next word I also see a bumble. Should be another TT. And then finally I see the word B. If I clap the word B. 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 One clap. One sound per beat. I know that that rhythm is going to be a ta. So if I were to read the rhythm of this pattern, instead of saying bumbles and bees, and I were to say tts and tas, I would say t t t t t t ta. Try that with me. Ready? Go. T t t t t t ta. So if you want a fun activity you can do with your family, brothers or sisters, or your moms or dads, or whoever's at home with you, you can have them write out Bumble and B, and you can put in TTs and TAs for them. And you can sort of go back and forth and try to send each other secret rhythmic messages using bumblebees and TAs and TTs. All right. Bumblebee, bumblebee. Stung a man upon his knee, stung a pig upon his snout. I declare that you are out. Well, we're almost done with our music class today, but I want to do a little bit of our April Musician of the Month. Yeah, we're in a new month, and that means we have a new Musician of the Month. And this month's musician is actually a group of musicians. It's a band called The Roots, and The Roots play hip-hop music. Yes, we are doing a hip-hop artist for the Musician of the Month. That means we're going to hear some rapping. We're going to hear lots of really fun dancing music, really funky music. And the Roots are an amazing band. They have all sorts of instruments and musicians in them. They've got a rapper. They've got percussionists and drummers. They've got keyboard players, guitar players, bass players, horn players. They even have a tuba player. And they like to collaborate, which means to work with lots of other musicians. And so they bring in other, they bring in all their friends to make music all the time. And the video that I want to show you today is of The Roots collaborating with a musician named John Legend. John Legend is an amazing singer, and he actually plays a lot of music with The Roots a lot. And so this is a song that they worked on together called The Fire. At the beginning, the person singing, that's John Legend. And you're going to see him sing for a little bit, but then you're going to see the Roots performing as well. You're going to hear uh, the main rapper of the group. His name is Black Thought. You're going to hear him do some rapping. You're going to see Questlove on the drums, as well as all the other musicians in the band. So I hope you enjoy The Fire with The Roots featuring John Legend. Something in your heart and it's in your eyes is the fire. Desire 
All right, pretty great. Well, unfortunately, it's that time again. We must sing goodbye. So, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. And thank you for music today. I'll be back next week with another first grade music class. Now, the music classes for all the grades are going to be available on this YouTube channel. So if you really want more, you want to get ahead or go visit kindergarten again, you're welcome to. Uh, but I'll be back with another first grade one next week. Everybody have a fantastic rest of your week. Stay healthy, stay happy, and keep making some music. <laughs>